All right, guys, so we are going to flash the latest PX4 firmware onto a Cube Pilot Orange Plus, like this, like that. The docs for PX4 start to run you through how to install it on your system, kind of for a, if you want a full IDE and you want to do PX4 development. Um, the problem is a lot of the default firmwares, I think, that come with Cube Ground Control don't actually support the Cube Pilot Orange Plus yet. I think that's the Support for that is in PX4 1.14, and the current release is 1.13. So you actually have to build from the Git repository if you want to get the Orange Plus flashed, as far as I know. So uh, I tried to set up the IDE on an Ubuntu machine, ran into issues with the dependencies until I realized that actually they ship a Docker image, and you can build this entire thing in Docker, and it's super easy. So I'm going to assume, first of all, that you have Git on whatever box you're working on. Uh, and you need to have Docker installed. Um, if you don't know what these are, I'll drop links in the description. These are fantastic software development tools and you're gonna wanna have them whether you're working with PX4 or doing anything else in software. So we're gonna clone the PX4 autopilot repository. And I'm gonna clone this just into a directory called PX4. This is a pretty it's a pretty massive repository. This will probably take a second. Um, once we clone this, we are just gonna run a script. We don't have to install anything on this machine. We don't have to worry about dependencies here. We're just gonna get it all packaged in a Docker image that they provide. Um, this is the beauty of, of Docker. So we have PX4 now. Once we come in here, uh, we can run tools slash docker run sh, and we're gonna give it the command make cube pilot cube orange plus default and whoops looks like I forgot a quote we dropped in the wrong quote character here we'll make those both single quotes so they match we'll run that this can take a minute um, I'll fast forward through this until we get done all right we're done and it helpfully tells you that it created this right here that's the firmware file we want. Um, that took a few minutes. Uh, so we are going to fire up QGround Control. Um, I'm using QGround Control. I'm not an expert at this by uh, any stretch. Um, I think you can do the same thing with Mission Planner and probably others. Uh, I don't know them very well. I'm kind of... Uh, I'm getting started in this. So uh, uh, looks like we already have. So we have QGround Control. Um, let's go into vehicle setup. So we plug in the Orange Plus. And if we go to advanced versions or advanced settings, we can select a custom firmware file. So I already installed PX4 on here. So I'm actually just, I'm replacing the current version with the exact same version, we're just doing this for the purposes of the video. So um, we're gonna select a custom firmware file. Uh, this lets us go to the uh, the build that we just made. So this is in your PX4 build directory. It creates a directory for CubeOrange plus default, and we want the PX4 file. So we open that, it erases the previous program. It's gonna load on um, PX4, 1.14. something. And uh, we should get a functional uh, PX4 on the Orange Plus. We get a lovely little startup sound. And there we go. We have uh, 1.140 beta is what we're running. Uh, so there you go. That's PX4. Uh, latest build from the main branch of the repository flashed onto an Orange Plus. Hope that helps.